Okay, so hi, I'm Casey from Strafe Sports, and first of all, I'd like to say a uh, great job on the win, guys. Even though you dropped the first map, it was a great comeback from you guys. So, would you guys like to share any thoughts on the game, uh, on the game today? Yeah, sure. Um, I think like it was a good game. Uh, we've not been playing very well the last couple of games. I'd say like after. I don't know, I guess like the, the last three games have been pretty poor to be honest. So it's something we're actively trying to fix. Uh we know what the what the areas we need to focus on are. Um so yeah, I think like right now we're not the team that I expect us to be and we're not the team that Boo expects us to be. So yeah, we need to fix it for playoffs because you know, champions is the goal. Um and we need to kind of pick it up a lot faster than what we have been. But like I've said in pretty much every game so far, like I'm just glad that we're winning the games even though we're playing pretty poorly. So I'm happy in that aspect. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you say that you've not been playing up to the mark that you guys expect from yourselves. But after that final at Shanghai, you guys have been undefeated in stage two each and every match. So do you have any comments on that? Like, do you think that you guys were better even though you were not playing up to your expectations or do you think that you just found what makes your opponents tick or something like that? Um, I think even though we're unbeaten, it's just because we have good fundamentals um, and they've carried us through quite, a, a, quite, a, quite a far away. So it's like the games that we're losing maps on, that's what's frustrating because I want to 2-0 the teams like every time because we know we can 2-0 them. So if we played at our best and we still lost, like against Gen.G, for example, we were playing pretty good as a team, but we just lost a better team, you know? So we learned from it. But in the games that we've dropped maps on, sure, like we might be undefeated, but in a lot of those maps, we've made really poor errors. We've let our standards slip and we don't learn anything because of it. So like I, me and Boo and, and Weber, like we expect our standards to not drop because, you know, if you just run around and get kills and win games sure that's kind of what's happened in the last the last three matches but we want to be playing at our best all the time so that even if we do lose a map it's because we've lost a better team but right now we're losing to ourselves when we lose and that's not how we want it okay so now you know uh, after shanghai coming into stage two did you think you guys had any sort of a, a, a pressure or any, any sort of mental stress that after doing so well in stage two, even though you could not win, but that's not the fifth. That's, uh, it doesn't matter as much, even th though you did quite well, that do you think there was some sort of mental, mental stress in the team that you had to perform in stage two, to prove, to prove to the rest of the world that you were not to be taken lightly still. Um, yeah, like that's how people think the way we looked at it is like, Obviously, going to Masters is insane and we had a good result, but looking at stage two, it's a disadvantage because everybody keeps, everybody watches us play and at the same time, we don't have time to prepare. So before the stage two started, like, we knew it's not going to be easy. It was easier than we expected against Navi and Foot, um, but like, we were prepared to lose if that's what happened. We were not like, I don't know. Like, we knew that reality is we are underprepared compared to other teams, and we are maybe a little bit more tired and stuff. So, like, we just focus on the game. Like, that's what we do all the time. Like, we focus on the game, and we focus on playing well. And if the result is a win, that is, it's nice. If a result is a loss, when you play well, then, I mean, you just respect it. Like, you lost a better team. You, you can't do more. So, yeah. Like, I know there was a pressure, from, like, from maybe public point of view, but for us... We tried our best to watch the situation in a realistic way. Um, so, yeah. uh, so to follow up on that, some of the other teams from the other, other regions have said that in these international tournaments, the more matches you play, the more information your opponents can gather on you. And then these the stage two, especially the second part of the year, becomes extremely difficult. And then going on to champions, it becomes even more difficult. So would you agree with this sentiment? And would you like to add anything onto that as well? Um, yeah, from one side, I agree, that's true. But from other side, um, the experience you get in international events is like, how do you say it? Um, 
invaluable. Like super valuable, invaluable, right? You can't pay a price on it. Uh, yeah, and like we play games, we play against different styles that later on we can, oh, that's how they're playing like FPX did. So we already know, right? We we are familiar with it as a team. So the more games you play, the more specific play styles you encounter, the more your knowledge baggages that you can, you know, use later. So I think it's like a double-edged sword, and I still think it's way better to go to every international event and play as many games as you can because, yeah, like you grow as a team exponentially there compared to like regular season, and yeah, I think that's why we were still able to five zero at this stage and like, yeah, that's what I think. Okay, so now speaking of that. Uh... In Shanghai, you guys obviously played with a sub uh, because uh, one of your players uh, was not able to attend the event. So, uh, did you think at any point that there would be a disadvantage or even an advantage that you guys would have when you switched up the roster like that, that teams wouldn't be able to expect what you were going to do? I, mean, I don't think we thought we'd have an advantage. Like, all we treated it as was... Like kind of Boo, uh, Boo mentioned earlier, was just experience and like gaining experience. The fact that we had someone like Patty coming in and he he would fit into our system, we knew we wouldn't be bad. Like we knew we could do well, and we just had like a kind of expectations talk before the tournament. Just that like as the reality is, we don't have much practice. We didn't even get the chance to really screw much in Shanghai. Like we done a lot of theory, uh, created some like really cool things on the fly. Um, with like very little time to prepare. So like we said, that that kind of experience you got there, like Sean proven to ourselves, I guess, that, you know, we don't need five days to practice something. We can just pull it off. Uh was was nice. We could do it in one day. So it was kind of like, I don't, I don't think we expected to have an advantage or a disadvantage. It was more just like the pressure was off and we were there to have fun and grow as a team. And I don't think any of us expected to get into the final, but... Once we started, I think I'd say after the FPX game, when we came back and we won, I think that's when everyone realized, like, yeah, we can we can do really well here. All right. So now, with uh, uh, sorry about that. So now with you guys uh, playing with your uh, main roster, so to say, do you think you'll be able to maintain the same sort of international strength that you showed last time, or do you think there'll be a few tweaks still required, or you're still working out some kinks? And your plans? Um, I think at this point, it's not about the roster, it's just about us as a team. Like, whether it's main or white tech, we had the same values, we had, we were focusing on the same things. Um, so, in that term, nothing changes. So, it's just like team heretics. Um, and yeah, like, we just focus on fundamentals, we focus on our communication and stuff, which are struggling right now. So let's say if we would play like we play, let's say today in Champions, we would probably lose to like really good teams. Um, so that's what our goal is. Like, like as as Neil said in the beginning, we know what we need to work on because we know what it means to be good. We know what we did to perform well. So we know the recipe. Uh, we just need to, you know, keep achieving it, and that's what we'll do because I mean, there's nothing else to do. Okay, yeah. so, uh, so would you say that your existing team synergy outweighs the so-called lesser international experience on the team? I think we've got like a lot of international experience now as a team, so I think we have really good synergy, and now we also have really good international experience. There's not many players in EMEA that have had as much experience as these guys have, even though they're only 18, you know? So, like, that was one thing we said at the start of the team, like, I don't care about experience in terms of, like, I don't care if you're 17, I don't care if you're 18. Experience is just... It's not that important, <clears throat> you know? Like, you're going to gain it if you're going to be a good team, and we've gained it already. So I think we've already got experience. Every single event we go to is massive experience for the guys, and we've attended every major event so far, so... Yeah, I think we have really good synergy and we have the experience to go on top of it. Um, we just need to keep building on it, you know. You can never get enough of it, so, yeah. All right, uh, thank you so much. Now, 
moving on to the playoffs you guys obviously made it into playoffs and you, since you guys are in the top 2 i think you're in top 1 right now if i'm not mistaken you'll be going straight to the semi finals so do you have any thoughts on the playoff that you'd like to share with us um so yeah we're getting the four already um we got the bye so we got the initial points like it's all nice but again nothing changes whether it's final against ng or it's a game against koi or it's like playoffs game we still focus on the game that's in front of us and we need to win it like we don't look at winning four games in a row we're looking at this step um that help us to focus more like to understand our goals and like i think that helps us play better rather than watching like super far ahead so yeah that's all i can say like we just we're going to play our semi final we're going to do our best to win it and after that there's going to be a next step yeah i agree with bird like for me it's literally like we go into the next game and it's team a against team b it's not heretics against liquid or heretics against navi it's team a against team b and the most important thing is if we're team a our comms are good our fundamentals are good and that's all i care about to be honest so i want to focus on ourselves and focus on making sure we're the team that i know we can be okay so uh, are there any teams that you're looking forward to f- uh, facing in the playoffs obviously you know it's going to be the same emea teams again but anyone that you would like to face in the playoffs for me as a coach not really i don't know about you bro i don't really have any preferences or like there's no one there's no emotional ties for me like i don't really want to play anyone else or you know for me it is what it is i just want to take a game as a time like like boo said i mean same for me it's kind of boring but um i mean vitality have chance to be in playoffs i think quite a good chance if i'm not mistaken so we lost to them previously so it would be nice to win against them because then i think It's only going to be BPL that we actually lost. Yeah. And we never won against them with this roster. And with previous. So, yeah, it's just like, you know, for the fun of it, like, win against every MEA team. But in reality, it doesn't matter. Like, yeah, it's whatever. Okay, so now the final question from my side. Uh, now that you'll be playing for champions so are there any teams that you expect to see and that you want to face in champions uh, as far as i know prx is the only team that has been confirmed to qualify and uh, are there any other teams that you would like to see there i think it is gnt fx or both or so confirmed because if one doesn't qualify then it means other does like if one doesn't go to free then other goes to points so i think those two teams are also locked um at least from lepipedia um for me i mean the more different teams you play the the more interesting it is for me like there are no specific ones like i would like to play the teams we didn't play yet like i mean paper x i would like to play as well because we need to get revenge from masters madrid but other than that like every team that we didn't play yet is a new challenge and also a new learning curve because as i said like the more teams you face the more play styles and like philosophies identities you play against which later on you can use as like you know when you describe something you can use them as a reference and it helps the team to understand what we're talking about so yeah like just i wish to play teams we didn't play yet yeah same for me like it's been a long season we've played the same teams quite a bit in the mea already so Yeah, I'd love to play against teams that we haven't internationally. Um if we can make champions, you know, like EG I really want to play against EG, but unfortunately I don't think they can go anymore. Like teams like Cloud9 would be cool. Um but yeah, like like Pop Blue said, just different different teams I think could be would be the the best thing for us. All right. So, thank you so much. Uh, that uh, that was all the questions from my side. I I'd, I'd like to thank the two of you for for taking the time to uh to agree with this interview and all the best for your upcoming matchups thank you very thank much you. have a good night bye bye bye